<clears throat> one, two, one, two. All right, let's roll. let's roll. Welcome. Welcome. You're listening to the Saddle Up Podcast, where we discuss everything related to UTR GB athletics, past or present. We'll catch up with old teammates, friends, and take you down memory lane with exclusive interviews. This is the Saddle Up Podcast, the voice of your covered walkway streets. So dope. This is going to be awesome. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. From Bronx Village to the Fieldhouse, we'll cover it all. Hell yeah, dude. Carpe Daniel. So saddle up and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Saddle up, partner. All right, guys. Hey, welcome to another episode. Another great night. This week, we got Mr. Juan Gamboa. Did I say that right, Juan? Juan? Juan is in the house. G is in the house. G, what's up? They already know who you are. You're a fan favorite. They love you. So I I, you know, you get kind of butthurt every time I don't introduce you. So, geez, in yeah, the thank house. you, thank yeah. you for introducing me, man, to somebody that was, you know, one of my former students at UTB. Yeah. And- well, yeah, Juan, you were one of my former students, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was yeah. trying to remember too. I'm like, was I his student, or was he just like the basketball coach? Around it was there? just a blur, man. It's like the, <laughs> it's, it's like blur. the backgrounds both y'all got, man, and the life is just a blur, right? And Black, so, yes, sir. It's so let me buddy, introduce. Yeah, man. Juan was part of a, a, you know, great soccer player while I was there instructing at uh, UTB. And uh, thank you for making me look really good in front of Juan, man. I appreciate you introducing <laughs> oh, yeah. me. I think for like the first time in the last eight episodes. But yeah. you know what? I'll G- take it, man. I'll take it. But <laughs> man, nonetheless, man, thank you, Juan Gamboa, to, uh, you know, joining us today, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, Juan. So- so here's the thing, Juan. Let me introduce. Let me let me kind of clue the audience in real quick. So obviously yeah. you know what kind of podcast this is, but typically we focus on like UTPA or UTRGV, right? Yeah. Today we've kind of stepped outside, and obviously by your shirt, you did not attend UTRGV or UTPA. So tell us a little bit about your background and and what you did for UTB. Yeah, I mean, um, I was able to join UTB the first year that they started a soccer program. So mm-hmm. I want to say I was like the second or third person that signed on to the the new program that Coach Balaguero um, coached. Uh, Dan, Coach Dan, yeah. yes, Dan. Uh, yes, sir. So yeah, I got I got to be part of that, and I mean, it was a great four years being there. Um, but yeah, I mean. Uh, any are questions? you originally from the valley? Or are you where are you where are you originally from? Yeah, I was born in Brownsville, and then we moved up to Dallas for a while up in this area. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then my my parents wanted to be close to home to their family, so we moved back down when I was in sixth grade, and then I stayed down there up okay. until this last move I made up to Dallas like Sweet. eight years ago. Yeah. Oh, you're really. You're really a Brownsville. You're really yeah. A Brown- you're really a Brownsville product, right? Like, yeah, yeah. What high school did you go to? Pace, the Vikings, baby. Oh Woo-hoo, man. <laughs> okay. Four-time, four-time district champs in high school. Uh, four-time conference champions in college. Did I never, you, never did could you carry win the a broom around because you were just sweeping <laughs> accolades, man. Like what? What kind of? And so you were you were a Pace Viking. Yes, right. Sir. What year did you graduate high school? Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Wow. 07. Okay. And then, Those and, are- man. yeah. Then you did four years at UTB and you're on the soccer program. Yeah. Yeah. Four years under coach Balaguero. Um, I mean, like I said, we started the program out there and uh, I mean, I, I want to say we had a pretty successful four years. We went again, I'm going to throw out some, bragging here but we went 40 and 0 in conference those first four years um yeah so it was a great four years man we had a great group of guys coach balaguero brought people from england from spain wow. from scotland hey, can, I, can i ask you real quick i didn't mean to interrupt one but do you play an instrument at all <laughs> no i don't play are you instrument. sure because you are tooting your own horn right now like <laughs> hey like, no, oh, he's good. He's shooting Balagero's horn too, man. I mean, he was like, "Hey, we're sweeping district champs. We're we're doing this like men's hey, but that- soccer league, like men's men's league soccer champs. Like, you know, like 
Like I, I'm just messing with you, Juan. I, yeah. I, you know, I'm just messing with you. But you went 40 and 0 under Coach That's Dan. Great track record, man. That is ridiculous. And you that know what? I, I was instru- an instructor there at UTB, and I, you know, I met a lot of the athletes because they came through my classes. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of my classes, and I honestly, Juan, I never knew you all went. I know you all were good, <laughs> but I, I didn't know that stat, man. I didn't yeah. know you were 40 and 0, dude. Man. That's Crazy, Juan man. was on the Juan was on the soccer team kicking ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, <laughs> man, man, that is pretty good, man. I, wow, that's that's really good. That's awesome. Like I said, I mean, we never got to win the big games. We always ended up losing, like in the national first round yeah. or something like that. But I mean, we had a great group of guys, and like I said, Coach Balaguer has been one of my favorite coaches we still stay in contact he's in nice. arizona right now with the embry riddle so oh man that's right yeah he's and, doing good. and juan what it, when you were at pace and when you're at utv what position did you play what were I you a, what? i was a goalkeeper <laughs> uh, we'll get into that in a little bit because i know i know we want to plug some of your products right but and i can't wait to tell everybody what juan has got going on right but so you were yeah. a goalie right you you basically for those who don't watch football right you basically are the last line of defense for anybody trying to trying to score right pretty much yeah i'm i'm, I'm back there trying to keep anything out that we've uh we've let get by all the way back there so i mean i tried my best and did what i could <laughs> yeah let me ask you just this is a personal curiosity right how good is messy oh because a- i i see him on espn now you know he made that transition to miami and like yeah. he's played only like eight or nine game or six, six seven games. games and he's gotten yeah. like nine goals yeah. Like they went from the the outhouse to the penthouse because now they're in the championship game, right? But yeah. how? I mean, he's making it look so easy scoring these goals, like you know, to a game. How yeah. how great is he? He's the, in my opinion, he's the best to ever do it. I mean, um, I know there's a lot of people like me that just tune in to see what kind of things he's gonna do in a game. Like when they played Dallas here, a couple weekends ago like it was like 9 30 at night and I was like over here screaming when Messi was scoring and doing stuff just because he brings out that uh, like that excitement and passion just to see him um do the things he does I mean it's it's crazy some of the stuff he he does he makes it look so easy now as a goalie if you're <laughs> in that position and you got the goat across from you right and he's yeah. Like, how is that intimidating? Like, I mean, I could speak for a basketball reference. Like, you, if I'm playing against Jordan or if I'm playing against G, like, I'm intimidated, right? But, like, yeah, it's, it's pretty comparable. Yeah. Or <laughs> Braun, right? If I'm playing against Braun. But, like, how intimidated would you be? What is that? What is that level of, like, Messi's trying to kick my ass, like, literally, you know? Yeah. I don't even know what that would feel like, to be honest. I mean, I think almost anybody that plays against him is like a little starstruck and then like kind of just hypnotized by the things he does. And and then they're like, oh, snap, I got to compete against him. And he just takes you on like nothing. I mean, I don't know. He's making those goalkeepers look like <laughs> they need new gloves. And speaking <laughs> of new gloves, right? Like tell the audience what you got going on like this is a utb product played at ut brownsville and is now a professional goalkeeper up in dallas with the sidekicks correct that's that's right yeah and you've got your own goalie gloves like you design them you put them out there like tell the audience where you can go where you can get them like the, I mean, the goalkeepers that aren't stopping messy need to go to your website and get these <laughs> damn gloves right yeah no, yeah, thanks. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have uh, I have my own goalkeeper glove company. It's called Gometa Sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been working on it for over 10 years now. I mean, it's kind of been a, a passion project at first. And yeah. then it's kind of, I've been trying to grow it into a, more of a stable business type of thing. But like you said, I get to design, I get to produce, I get to choose all the materials. 
Nice. And I mean, a lot of the designs and stuff are based off of, I mean, things I, I would like to see and things I would feel good wearing. Uh, like you said, I still play. So a lot of the models I create, I use when I play. And I mean, I try and make it to where every glove I make, I would feel comfortable wearing in a professional uh, game and have the confidence that they're going to do what they're supposed to do. That's amazing. Is and it I the glove or the player, Juan? Yeah. Oh, it's the player. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't hate the don't hate the uh, game, hate the player, right? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I, oh. I wish I could say my gloves are gonna save everything, but I'm probably one of the most scored on goalkeepers here in my uh, no. <laughs> in the soccer league. So no, you can't say that. I'm gonna edit that part out, Juan. Yeah. If but, you're trying to if you're trying to move product, man, you can't be like, yeah, these gloves. <laughs> Uh, everything's getting by these gloves it's, you know? that, it's that pity buy now we, we gotta get them pity buys <laughs> that clip doesn't exist uh, <laughs> the, clip, uh, the, the clip will not make air right there hey Juan, I, I, I'm, I'm curious now what you think about this um you're wearing your glove or not wearing your glove right whichever one you're wearing it doesn't matter but you're in the you're there there's five penalty kicks that Messi has to kick there's five right. in a row and yeah. you're goalie how many is he getting past you Honestly, in your prime, in your prime, and you might I, be. In I'd like to save. I'd like to say I, I at least get one. I'd save at least yeah. one of them. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I've I've had a pretty decent penalty saving record, so yeah, uh, I'd like to say out of his five, I, I could hopefully get one of them. Okay. So, so Juan, that's pretty good, man. That's but, better than me and G because he's getting five past us. Like that's way better. Like I, I think I probably end up in the ER trying to block one of those. <laughs> if, but so he has no ACL. Like, so like we, that that's no ACL. lateral movement. <laughs> uh, so he better not uh, go to his left because if he goes to his left, I have to push off my left, and yeah. that's happening. I'm sorry, See? but. It, <laughs> he's just gonna jump up and grab the poles and then hang and then just try to kick like put the feet out just to yeah, try yeah. to kick and stop it like that's that's what g's doing so so as curiosity because we're both basketball players i think that we're like we're really excited for you to come on Juan, oh yeah we haven't had a soccer player on yet you're the first and, soccer player yeah, yeah the okay. first soccer and so we have a lot of questions because we don't like we never played. I never played it. I don't know about Matt. Maybe he played it when it was third grade, got hit in the head, started, <laughs> never played it again. You know, that kind of thing. It happens. But yeah, it happens. And it's probably I, whatever. I, not- I did. I tried to play soccer, yeah. well, football, soccer, whatever. Um, in third grade, you were right, G. <laughs> it was during recess, and I was the slowest kid out there. Like, yeah. I couldn't. I remember yeah. this kid, Alex Longoria. Man, he he was the best soccer player that we had during recess. Like he was just like, yeah, he was just so fast. I knew that there was no way I could compete on that I don't, le- on I that third grade level. I have no <laughs> idea. How I guess that, but it just it just came to my head because you know me, but you know me, you, you love me, you know me. So, so Juan, when you're when you're like, let's say for example, Matt is kicking penalty kicks as a goalie and you're, you know, obviously you're a coach right now. We'll get into that, what you're doing now uh, with, with your high school kiddos, but what are you, what are you looking at? Like, there's gotta be like, we, like as basketball players, we're always taught, look at the waist, don't follow the ball when you're defending, you know, so you don't get faked out. Right. Uh Uh, You know, try to, try to beat them to a spot, try to anticipate. What do you, what do you look for? What are the points of, emphasis that you look for right before somebody kicks it well if you if you ask like coaches and stuff like that they're probably going to tell you to um look at the their plant foot wherever Mm -hmm. their plant foot ends up facing that's more than likely where they're going to try and shoot or if they're going to open their hips up a little bit um but i've got into where i mean don't don't spoil my secret but i'm diving to the right every time I don't, I don't even look at anything. I just dive right. Yeah. yeah. What? So you're I hope gonna... none of your competitors watch this podcast. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's gonna shoot left, right? But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's been, awesome. it's been, uh, hey, it's and, been pretty and that good was it me. for the Juan Gamboa show. He just dives <laughs> right in, like you know. That's that's it. Thanks, Juan, hey. for joining the show. Right. So. Right. 
Juan, I have a bad left knee, so nobody knows that I can't go to my right in mm -hmm. basketball when I go play like rec basketball. So, uh, you know, <laughs> Gee, there's no Gee, we I'm knew you couldn't go to your right even when you had two good ACLs. So. <laughs> go to the right, man. That was my strength <laughs> for the right. But anyway, so that's pretty cool, Juan. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna so look, I'm going to look now when I'm watching an ESPN and they show soccer highlights. And I'm going to look at the goalie or the person that kicks it. I'm going to now look at their plant foot to see which, yeah, which way. And then, and then I'm going to notice that the goalie just dives right every single time, right? And I'll be like, okay. Every, I mean, there's guys that study and they have like little notes and, oh, this guy always kicks here. This guy always kicks here. But, I mean, in the in a game situation, I mean, I'm just like, as a goalie, you have nothing to lose, right? The, 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 the shooter has the advantage. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guess the side right, you get a hand to it, you get something to it. I mean, that's that's a plus. So I just yeah. go into it thinking that I'm like, if he doesn't score, he's, I mean, it's on him. I'm just going to dive to my right. If yeah. he shoots it and I get to it, awesome. If not, I mean, that's what's supposed to happen. So I guess it works. I guess that strategy works out if you're on the far left pole. You know, like, <laughs> Every, if you're, everything's if to you're the right. The far left and you just got to dive right. You're good. <laughs> you know? I mean, You'd have to be able to dive like 23 feet, but yeah. <laughs> well, I think Matt would have been a great goalie. He would have been a great goalie. I'd have just been like, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't ever have to move. <laughs> I could have just been hanging out on the pole like this and just be like, all right. Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> so give me some Juan Gamboa uh, <laughs> soccer, some goalie gloves. I'll be, I'll be good, man. Be solid, Dude. and I don't have to run. Like, there's way too many turnovers in soccer for me. Like, uh, the guy just turned it over. Like, what? And you're cool with that? Like, uh, it's really <laughs> tough for me to watch soccer or football. I'll watch some, I'll watch some Ted Lasso like a mug, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the actual game is just, to me, it's just a lot of running, a lot of turnovers. And I'm like, yeah. Oh. It's a chess match. It's a yeah. chess match. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Grew up in Brownsville. What is your, and you went to school, obviously, there. What's your favorite place to eat in Brownsville? Oh, wow. Um, I got a couple of spots on my list, but w what's yours? Let me see if I remember the name. I might be, there's a place um, right across from La Michoacana on Central Boulevard that me and my parents or my parents would like to go for like uh, breakfast on the weekends. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's like Emilia's something. It's like right next to like a 7-Eleven or like a gas station right across. Those are the best places always, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a little, uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it was. Is it the Brownsville Depot? What, what, or Brownsville, what is that called, G? Brownsville Depot number two? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what you talking about, man? I gotta ask Mike Mancius about that one. He took me oh, there one oh, time. Oh, 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 Juan, I know what he's talking. About. He's talking about the Brownsville Coffee Shop. Number yes, two. number two. Yeah, uh, not on, that you take a number two there, but you just like it's the that's, second it's location. The second. <laughs> yeah. on, on International, it's actually on UTB's street where UTB is. It's on okay. International. Yeah, it's okay, really okay. good. Um, yeah. So I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that you went right into the restaurant talk, Matt. Yeah. I, I might be getting hungry or you just ate or whatever, but uh, what did you, uh, Juan, I had a question, man. What did, did you, when you came out of, um, when you came out of high school, did you get recruited to leave Brownsville? And, and, and did you like have to make a choice, man? I want to stay. Did Dan Balagero have to like convince you? <laughs> was it the restaurant? Was it Amelia's? That, uh, that was it Amelia's? <laughs> the, the, it wasn't did, the Brownsville did, coffee shop number two. We know we know you could have done without that, right? So yeah. Did you have other opportunities? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, when I was in high school, um, the San Antonio uh, University of Our Lady of the Lake and okay. San Antonio was. <laughs> really present down there in the in the valley and they invited me up and I, I went through all that process to see what that was going to be like but it being a, a private university um, yeah. I mean it wasn't something that I was probably going to do I'm a first time 
a first generation going to college and stuff. So I didn't really have all the information I needed. I didn't. That's amazing. Uh, the recruiting, yeah. the recruiting down in Brownsville wasn't as big as it is now. So I really mm -hmm. didn't have much of, I mean, like I said, Our Lady of the Lake contacted me and then, and then Balaguero showed up and he was like, hey, we're opening the program up. Nice. Uh, you can stay here locally. I mean, you'll, we'll get you whatever you need. I mean, and I was pretty good in school, so I was going to get like scholarships and stuff like that. That's so awesome. And, we, um, and you're right down the street from Amelia's. Like, this yeah, yeah. Perfect, right? it, was, it, was a, <laughs> it was a pretty easy choice just because, I mean, it was like, well, I have this option where I'm going to have to go yeah. away from my family, uh, spend some money, or I can stay local stay yeah. home, get to play soccer, get to get my education for free type of stuff. And, and I mean, I went for the, that was it. The and ladder, you made the right but... decision, man. And y'all went 40, you know, y'all went <laughs> yeah. Did no you all play, play, Juan, did you play uh, anywhere else other than, I know you're playing for the sidekicks now, but did you play anywhere after college, anywhere else? Uh, after college, I actually came to try out for the sidekicks when they first came back in 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they kind of already had a goalie so it wasn't something that I didn't get called back or anything yeah. then I went home and a team started up in uh in Hidalgo oh yeah okay so a team started out in Hidalgo I went to their tryout the coach was like look I really like how you play keep coming whenever you can because at that point I was already like a teacher's aide working and stuff he's like keep coming when you can um I want you to be part of the group so like whenever I had a chance, I'd drive up to uh, McAllen or Hidalgo. I'd go practice with them. Nice. And then uh, halfway through the season, their goalie got injured. He's like, hey, man, can you make this trip? We're going to <laughs> Dallas. I was like, let's go. So my first <laughs> professional game was actually against the Dallas Sidekicks back in uh, 2012. Nice. Wow. That's yeah. pretty cool, man. How that everything is pretty cool, man. Circles, That's like you know? a, yeah, a real know. moment, right? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I remember I played against them. And like I said, when, when I was young and, and we lived in, in the Dallas area, we would go watch the sidekicks. Like back in the in the early 90s, um, indoor soccer was like the big thing in the United States because there wasn't a professional outdoor league. So the MLS came around in 96, and then it kind of started taking the spotlight from indoor. And so now indoor is kind of more of like a, a niche sport um, yeah, a, a smaller fan base type of thing, but I mean, I enjoy playing it, and we get to travel all over the U.S. and uh, I mean, it's yeah. been fun. It's been 11 years since I started playing. So wow! And y'all play <laughs> normally on the weekends? Like, how does that work? Or y'all y'all play weekdays? And you're it, it, yeah, sick I mean, or, how does that work? <laughs> well, I've been lucky enough that the schools I've worked at uh, are pretty good about me saying like hey i have a game this weekend is it okay like they're pretty they've been they've been really good uh with That's me awesome. like, support. asking support. for the days off and stuff like that yeah. um but also the sidekicks know that my coaching job at the high school like that comes first of course so yeah. if there's ever like some type of uh conflict the sidekicks know hey i'm not gonna be able to make this game and um, so, I mean, I've, I've, I miss about five or six games a uh, season because yeah. of the high school. How, how many games are during a, like an indoor soccer league? Like how many uh, games do you play? 24. Wow. Yeah. It, it spans from like November to about April. We play wow. 24 regular season games. And then if we make the playoffs, whatever amount of uh, games you get into the playoffs. That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Lot, that's a lot of games man yeah no i, I have another it. go ahead i'm sorry no no i just say after the season my body feels it and that's why i kind of <laughs> take a few does only your left side rotation. feel it because you're always diving right <laughs> <laughs> that's in pk's i can dive to my left if i need to so the question <laughs> that i have for you is how do we get a pair of saddled up podcast goalie gloves made hey we can do that for sure um <laughs> Send me a logo, send me something, and I'll get something made and send it over. Dude, this, this is awesome. This is awesome, man. Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I can do that. I even, I mean, I think the newest, uh, well, there's no green on it, but, I mean, it's kind of orange, and it has some orange on it for the UTPA, but, like, the newest <laughs> colorway. What? We can get that's these. Like, that's close enough to Vaquero, Vaquero Nation, baby. 
Battles up, V's up, okay. baby. V's up, baby. And then in the glove, the glove, you can, yeah, just like in the glove, just cut off these two fingers. So it's just like this the whole time. The V's. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, so Juan, man, uh, did how is the, now? You obviously, you know, we talked about your sidekick, you know, that that life. Yeah. Um, you know, man, it, it, such an upbringing, such an awesome upbringing. You, you mentioned first generation, you know, going to college. You're you're like in Brownsville and in our community, you are a success story. Like, yes. like that's Hands just down. fine. Bottom line, you're a success story. Um, you're doing great things, man. You have a small business, you know, you, you all this good stuff. Uh, what is the what how is how do your kids kind of look at you man like what is that high school situation like yeah. um, do they know that you're a professional goalie for the sidekicks yeah they know i mean they know and i mean they you know how high school kids are they'll stab at anything they can stab at so most, <laughs> yeah. of, most of the time they're watching the game to see if i make some type of mistake so they can make fun of me the next day that they see me and stuff like that but uh like I'm mr gamboli you always <laughs> dive into the <laughs> dive <laughs> <over> to the <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, no, like uh, today uh, we got, I mean, we started school about two weeks ago, but uh, I had a lot of the freshmen today. They're like, Coach Gamboa, you play professional? And they were like watching the videos on YouTube and stuff. They're like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> So like some of them find out as they come into yeah. class and come into the, the soccer program there at the high school. So that's kind of cool. And I get to tell them all the experiences I've been able to have and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Now, as your as your time as a goalkeeper, and we talked, we brought up the whole messy thing, but I'm just curious, who is the best player that you've ever played against? Played against? I mean, I don't know if y'all know. Um, I mean, the most recognized player I've ever played against, um, Captain America, Landon Donovan. He played a few seasons here in our indoor soccer. Wow. For yeah, we him. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to play against he's him. He's coaching here in San Diego now. Yeah. 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 He's he's uh I think he's owner of the San Diego Loyal or something. Yeah, like, the Loyal. Yeah. yeah. So um he played a few seasons with the San Diego Soccers and I got to play against him. And I mean, I mean he lived up to the hype. It was crazy. Kind of like you said, when guys face Messi, I was like, holy moly, I'm playing against Landon Donovan right now. And <laughs> I got a few pictures of me saving shots against him. So I, I got those nice. saved, saved, but um, yeah, I mean, he's probably the most well-known player that I've been able to play against. In cool. my career. Wow, cool. man. That's a great awesome. question. I would have never <laughs> imagined that Landon Donovan. I mean, Donovan was my, one of my favorite players that I was following, man, when they were yeah. playing. That's crazy. That yeah. is did crazy. You get to, did you get to talk to him after the game? Like, you know how they say sometimes you don't want to meet your heroes, right? Because yeah. there's you set yourself up for disappointment. But did you <laughs> get to have? Did you get to have like, you know, how does that work after a game? Do y'all end up at like at Applebee's and just kind of all I mean, hang out, or you no? Know? I mean, we we see each other at, um, on like in the dressing room area and stuff like that. But um, I'm not big on like going and talking to people type of thing right, so right, I, guess yeah. I i kind of regret not getting a picture with him like but yeah. uh uh at the moment it was like dang they just killed us i'm just going to the locker room getting dressed yeah it's that getting competitive fire. <laughs> I get it. yeah i get it like, no, i totally get that i'm just i'm just curious how you know how yeah. that works right so yeah. donovan donovan if you ever watch this podcast <laughs> yeah our boy Gamboa, he's a legend. Yeah, you got to look up Gamboa, man. He's and it, you know he doesn't play goalie, but if you need a pair of his gloves, man, go to the website. <laughs> What's the website again, Juan? It's uh, gometagk.com. It's a G O M E T T A G K dot com. Gometagk.com. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. That's hey awesome. Juan. Yes, Juan, while you were while you were in high school and and getting ready to play games and you know getting ready to play your UTB games going forty and zero and stuff, man, what were you <laughs> what were you banging in your in your eye? And I don't it's know what it was, out. an iPod was it headphones yeah. or Walkman? I can't. Man, I don't know. I don't know when that stuff came in. But what please were you? Tell me. Please tell me it was Tribe Call Quest. Can I kick it? <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't say I know that song. No, I mean, uh, we were just listening to whatever was on the radio at that point. Like I said, music what? streaming wasn't as available as it is now. So yeah, right. we were you like, listen to Midnight Magic by Tony Farina. Yeah. That's what you listen to. Pitbull, <laughs> was, Pitbull was going strong when we were there in college. I know we were. Yeah, he, Pitbull. He was making the waves and um, like Lil, Lil Wayne. Okay. Lil you need Wayne. to give. You need to give us a song so that you can contribute to this the official Saddle Up Spotify. Soundtrack. You need to give us one from high school and one that you bang now before That's your side cool. game. Yep. <laughs> one for, or college, high school or college, and then one for before side the your sidekicks game. All right. So you got you got to give us two. I think uh, back in college, I, I'd probably put on like uh, a Millie by Lil Wayne. Okay. Back. Okay. <laughs> That's not All right. Pretty- <laughs> okay. We'll get that one on there. And then um, right now, I mean, just, I don't have, I'm not the DJ in the locker room. So whatever they're playing, uh, we got an English guy in there that's listening to techno and stuff like that. So <laughs> we just, I just go with whatever's in there and, uh, and try Is and get. name Jamie control. Tart? <laughs> he, he's similar to him his name is jamie lovegrove okay. oh wow. yeah <laughs> one it's okay if you're a swifty it's all right if you don't want to say on yeah, air if you if you listen to taylor swift it's cool like i try to get tickets here in la so yeah i, I totally get it if you listen to taylor swift it's cool man. It's all right it's all right you're still cool in my book and i'm yeah, sure man, you're, you're, you're a goalie for a professional right, so. soccer team like that's <laughs> And you got your own small business where you're designing saddle up podcast goalie gloves, you know? Like yeah. That's, that's well, amazing. We can't get that from anywhere else, man. Nope. <laughs> Anybody else. Now, will you sign them? Like, will you sign Bo Perrick's? Yeah. My, my ass is never going to use them, right? So I'm just <laughs> going to put them up on my, my shelf. So when you make them, will you sign them and then just, and then... We'll send one, send them both to me, and then I'll just give them to G. So I'll yeah, give one to G. Good. I'll get those customized, send them out, and then. Um... That's awesome, man. We got our own only <laughs> gloves, G. Do you like... get, yeah. Juan, do you get a chance to come down to Brownsville and visit? I mean, I we try and make it with my family. I mean, we're all busy. My, uh, my wife, uh, she's yeah. in charge of a few clinics up here. Um, yeah. So. She's always busy. And then with me being in school and all that stuff, uh, we always try and go down in the summer and spend like a week down there with my family and, yeah. and, and my beach. parents. Yeah. yeah, we hit the beach. We hit the Schlitterbahn. We, we go visit my family in Mexico, um, yeah. all that good stuff. And then my parents, they try and make it up here usually a few times a year. They, they try and make it up to like every home opener when we start our season. Nice. Sidekicks. And then uh, they'll be up here this next weekend because it's my baby's birthday party here in about. Oh, man, that's yeah. all. Awesome. Happy yeah. birthday. Now, what <laughs> number do you wear? Um, what number is your uniform, Juan? Number one. I was going to say, you're number one in our hearts. So yeah. there you go. That, that works that, out. Number one with saddle up, V's yeah. up, yeah. one. But yeah. I, one. We, uh, we, uh, we spent some time in Dallas, man. I coached at Collin County. Okay, uh, I live right next to it. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I coached at Colin in Plano for a while, and then there's a campus in McKinney, and there's a there's some campuses around, but I coached at the one in Plano. The restaurant that, that you know, I know we asked you about Brownsville, but my go-to restaurant in Dallas, man, was me, is Mi Casina. Okay, yeah, yeah, we, we enjoy going to Mi Casina. Yeah, um, the mojitos, baby, the mojitos. <laughs> <Good>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mi cocina, we like, I mean, yeah, any type so of food from there is good. Nice. So many places. What's your favorite place in Dallas, your go-to? Uh, e, that's a that's a big one. Yeah, I mean, when, uh, when I'm just craving, like, Mexican tacos and stuff like that, there's a little place in, uh, in Richardson that I go to. It's called, like, um, Taqueria Nuevo, Nuevo León. Oh, Ooh. you can't beat yeah, those. So that anytime, anytime I go to practice with the sidekicks and we end early, you'll you'll see like five or six of us there at the taco shop right after practice, man. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. Juan, thank you so much for joining the show. 
it's been an honor and a privilege to have yeah. you on to have someone that's you know originated from the brownsville area homegrown went to utb had success in high school had a, a, a nice little career in collegiately and now doing big things professionally like <clears throat> we can't yeah we can't give you enough flowers, man. Congratulations. And you're, also, and you're also coaching and teaching and teaching those kids, man, everything yep. that you, so, you know, those things that you're giving back, like you're, I, I don't care if you get a paycheck as a teacher at, or a coach. I, I don't care. Anybody that teaches and coaches. I think and, Juan cares though, but yeah. <laughs> My wife well, cares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Juan's wife cares, G. <laughs> I know, man, but I'm saying volunteer, not vol not volunteering, getting a paycheck, whatever. If you're coaching and teaching, you're you're doing God's work, man, and yeah. you're giving back Hands to down. the kids and and giving them what you learned, man. And, and they're good, man. I'm telling you right now, you are doing some great things with those kids. I guarantee you. So, man, I appreciate that. No, well, I appreciate you guys reaching out and having me on the on here. I mean, uh, you guys have a great podcast, and hopefully, it continues growing and. And uh, I mean, some of the people you've had on here have, like you said, done some great things for UTPA. And, and, uh, and I mean, I, like I said, I'm just very grateful y'all thought of me and, and hopefully uh, y'all have a lot of success and we'll be following from. from oh yeah. Now. I appreciate it, man. And you feel free to play these podcasts before the games <laughs> uh, for the psychic <laughs> games, like have your teammates, have your teammates get juiced off of our little podcast. Like that would be, amazing like if if we can if we can help contribute to your success motivation yeah, yeah. For sure. be mm -hmm. like hey guys i don't need you to be the dj today i got it we're gonna play saddle up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure all um, right juan we'll take care we we'll, you're welcome back anytime and, and we'll see you see you next time you're you're on but congrats on all your success I these appreciate up, it, man. Up. these, these up. up Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean, you know, like something happened.